the worst consequence of pulling out of Afghanistan is from as best as I can tell, and I don't want to play fake Afghanistan expert, uh, a problem for Afghanistan. It will be a problem for Afghans, which is to say the internal collapse of Afghanistan, built on shaky foundations, a ward of the international community economically, uh, a fractured place politically, um, and increasingly uh, unable to reconcile itself to a circumstance that seemingly um, most Afghans want, which is the end of 30 years of conflict. Uh, institution building in Afghanistan is a failure. Um, it's proven itself ultimately to be a folly. Um, the administration has vacillated, I think, both in its internal deliberations and in its public presentations between triaging a terrible situation and setting itself lofty goals for institutional building while telling both itself Congress and the public that it wasn't doing these things anymore. And this is an internal contradiction that the administration never fully resolved. Uh, the consequences of, 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 of the last couple of years bear that out. And which Afghanistan itself may not be in a position to internally reconcile. One of the more terrifying prospects that I've heard from a good friend of mine who's lived in, in Afghanistan for the last two odd years is that even if the best case scenarios uh, for the West pan out, which is to say the Taliban, the Karzai administration, the Pakistanis, and the United States managed to come to some kind of peace deal. Uh, the former U.S. allies uh, in the Northern Alliance, the warlords who initially um, helped the U.S. Uh, invade Afghanistan, take Kabul away from the Taliban, most of them non-Pashtuns, uh, will find that circumstance absolutely unacceptable and will have a civil war even in the case of a Taliban-Karzai peace deal. Um, that strikes me as, you know, probably a possibility worth considering and, and triaging, but from the perspective of what the U.S. can do to mitigate it, I'm not ultimately certain. Um, it strikes me as foolhardy to say that uh, once the U.S. leaves, al-Qaeda will stream back into Afghanistan. There's no evidence that it's powerful enough to do so. There's also very little evidence that the Taliban find that to be such an important fact about their strategic situation that they would sacrifice a further chance at victory um, in the name of an alliance with al-Qaeda that's ultimately been very costly for them. On the other hand, the Taliban right now probably have good reason to consider that they're winning. 